In this video, I'm gonna show you effect so awesome it will blow your mind. <laughs> God, that was so bad. Let's get started. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Drool, and welcome to another video by Tutorials Junction. And as you can see, this is the final output. Let's look at the original picture. So this is the original and this is something we will try to create. Now let's go to the original file here where we will work. So first thing I would like to do is double click here and unlock the background. Now as you can see here I cropped my picture so that we can have better focus on the head. So I grab my crop tool and since we don't want that area you can simply go and turn on delete pixels. So it will simply delete it. Uh, okay so first thing I'm gonna go and crop it somewhere around here. Uh, and for the head, I think we need a little bit of room. Uh, so this should be enough, then go and confirm it. Okay, now we have to remove the background and it's like the dream image for a graphic designer. Just simply right click here and get a quick selection tool. And the best part is you don't have to select the head. So make sure you only select until the t-shirt part like this, do a couple of clicks and let's do the selection here. Okay, now we need to remove a little bit selection from here. So change the tool, right click here and get the magic wand this time. My tolerance is 20 and select third option and just do a click, double click. Okay, a little bit more, good, okay. So the selection is ready, then simply go and click on this layer mask icon and we are good. Now we have to create our own background. So for that, go and create a new blank layer and since it's a background, put it under your model. Uh, grab your paint bucket tool, right click paint bucket uh, and get a white color here. So go and fill it. Nice. Now we need a little bit of gradient to make it interesting. So I'm going to double click on this layer and get a gradient overlay here. Uh, go and make it radial and the my gradient right now it is simple black to white, but we're going to change it. Uh, it's 90 and the scale make it all the way 150 and reverse it. We're good right now. Now go here and since we selected black and white, Instead of this black color, I need a gray. So I'm gonna go and grab a gray stone somewhere around here. Uh, so this looks good, hit okay. Uh, and then again, go and hit okay. Now I'm also gonna make the my opacity somewhere around like 80% and hit okay. Now if I turn it on and off, this looks much better compared to simple white background. Now let's go and add some explosions, the real reason why you are watching this video. So go to file, uh, go to place. And here I found this really cool uh, PNG files of dust exploding and also some cloud explosions from DeviantArt. Amazing stock. So first of all, I'm gonna select this one, dirt charge and go and place it. Okay, now we gotta rotate it a little bit. And as you can see, my all the explosion image, they will be under my model, okay? So I'm gonna make it smaller. And when you make it small, hold your shift key. Uh, okay, let's go and adjust it. So as you can see, it has already started looking interesting. It looks like some dust is coming out of the head. Now let's add some volume to it. So for that, I'm again going to go to file, place, and this time I'm going to go and select the uh, cloud, dust cloud. So I'm going to go and select this one. This one looks really nice. Go and place it. Now again, I'm also going to make it smaller. So hold your shift key and make it smaller. This should be the same size somewhere around. Okay, that looks nice. Now I only want on my dirt charge here, right? So I'm gonna right click here and create a clipping mask. So as you can see, now it only shows up where the charge is. So you can leave it here or you can grab your move tool and you can experiment like exactly where you like the explosions, uh, how you want it, how you don't like it. And you can also now make it bigger and smaller. So now I'm gonna hold my Alt and Shift key and make it a little bit bigger and adjust it. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Now let's add another dirt charge. But before that, let's rename this one so we don't get confused. Cool, now let's go to file, place, uh, and this time I'm gonna select this one. Uh, okay, now the thing about this one is I'm gonna rotate it something like this. And do you see this little particles? I want that uh, to add a little bit more volume and more exploding effect. Uh, so I think uh, somewhere around here, Let's go and make it tiny bit more smaller. Okay, that's perfect. Then go and confirm it. Now to remove the rest of the area, go and click on this layer mask here, grab your brush tool, right click brush tool, and in the color it should be black. 
uh, opacity 100% and hardness it, it's a little bit tricky you can go somewhere around 0 to 20% whichever works for you so let's try 15% uh, and let's go and remove it and let's see if you accidentally remove something and if you want to bring that back all you have to do is change to your white color and then you can paint that thing back it's easy as that okay so I think this looks nice. It can take some time to build up the shape. It's completely fine. Okay, now let's bring in the smoke cloud. So for that, go to file, place, and I'm gonna select this cloud this time. Uh, place it. Okay, that's really big. Uh, I'm gonna make it smaller. Always hold your shift key when you make it smaller. Okay, uh, somewhere around here. Go and confirm it. Now what do we do? We right click here and create clipping mask. Uh, so we get an effect something like this now i'm gonna move it somewhere around here so we get you know that yellow part of explosion yeah this one do you see this moving part yeah this will help to bring out colors a bit more looking pretty interesting now let's add some more particles to make it look you know more explosive so go to file uh, go to place and here I'm gonna select this uh, particles that I found really nice stock as you can see now what I'm gonna do first let's make it smaller and this will be on top of your all this dirt charge and clouds uh, so let's keep it somewhere around here take your time and adjust exactly where you want cool now go and confirm it so as you can see the problem is the image is square so so if i zoom out you can make out that it was a square image to get rid of that all you have to do is just remove the corner so for that go and apply the layer mask uh, grab your brush tool uh, and then you can paint with black color here and get rid of these corners So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, now it looks like the explosion is coming from the head uh, and not like a square picture. So let's adjust it a little bit. Okay, really nice. Now it's a little bit darker for what I for the effect I need. So I'm gonna make it brighter. So go and create new adjustment layer and get a brightness contrast. Now I'm gonna make it brighter, but as you can see, entire image is getting bright. So I'm gonna go and turn on the clipping mask from here. So now if I turn it on and off, only the particles get bright. So I'm gonna make them super, super bright. It's almost white at this moment. Uh, let's go and zoom in. So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, uh, they are more visible. Uh, I'm also gonna make them a bit bigger. Okay, now I need a little bit more volume. So what I'm gonna do, do you see this uh, particle layer that we added? I'm gonna make a copy of it. So press Ctrl J. Uh, so we have a copy and put, take this copy. Do you see this one here? You can put it on top of your brightness layer here. I don't want these particles bright. I need them just for the volume. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press Ctrl T and make them pretty smaller uh, in comparison and then rotate them so they don't look repetitive okay we good here okay my focus area is here i want to add a little bit of particles here forget about all this stuff right so that is there good now go and confirm it now we don't need them here so go and grab your brush tool and since we have a layer mask activate it and now you can paint with black color and remove them from the places you don't need so now if i turn it on and off as you can see we have a little bit more volume in this specific area now I'm gonna follow the same process couple times and add it in certain other places. So all the particle work is done and now we have to add a little bit of shadow uh, exactly here on the neck. So for that go and create a new blank layer and since the model is on top our job is super easy. Uh, just grab your brush tool uh, and grab a black color because shadows are apparently black. Uh, so I'm gonna go and paint exactly here, like this. You see? Now obviously it's way too dark. So I'm gonna go and change the opacity somewhere around like 60-70%. Uh, and let's go and adjust this a little bit. So now if I turn it on and off, the depth it gives, it's really nice. Let's go and turn down opacity a little bit more. Okay. Now it looks more natural and gives more depth. Okay, all the compositing work is done. And now do you see this orange color here? Let's make it more noticeable so it looks better. Okay, so I'm gonna activate my main top layer uh, because I also want effect on this model as well. 
So I'm gonna go and create new adjustment layer and get a selective colors. So it's on top of everything. So obvious question, what color is explosion? So um, this will be red and yellow. So first of all, let's go to red and add a little bit of red. Make it all the way 100, then go to your yellows. In the yellows, go and make your yellows all the way 100%. Uh, and then you have to go to your neutrals. Uh, and let's go in here. Let's zoom out a tiny bit. Okay, here I'm gonna add a little bit more contrast. Uh, so you know, uh, we have that nice punch. Okay, that looks really nice. And that is it. Let's turn it on and off. You see that those colors, let's zoom in. Uh, and now let's turn it on and off. That punch, it's really helpful. Now the thing is doing that effect also made this arm completely red uh, which we don't want. So we already have a layer mask, grab your brush tool, black color and then you can remove it from here. That's it, looks pretty easy doesn't it? And it is actually pretty easy. So let's see where we started. Okay so this is the model, uh, this is where we started. Uh, and this is something we created. Not very good, but I think decent enough for tutorial. So take your time and if you need more volume to fill up these places, you can try different dirt charges, you can make them bigger, smaller, repeat the same pictures in different directions. You can do lots of things, you have all the freedom. It was a bit experimental tutorial, so I'm not sure if you guys will like it or not, but if you do, Hit that like button and let me know and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions uh, you can ask me in comment section below and if you are new here you can click on any of these boxes to check out more videos by me plus you can also subscribe to my channel so every time I upload a new video you will get the update plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my youtube channel where I have tons of tutorials just waiting for you so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop